Hello everyone, this is Trey from Texas Sports TV, and this is going to be this week's Power Rankings, and for reasons I'm close, I'm, yes, this video is late, it's later in the day, and for reasons I'm not going to disclose, I'm not going to spend as much time on certain teams, uh, just some recent personal stuff, alright, but these are, I'm still doing this video, this is the Power Rankings for June 10th, 2019, 2019 <laughs> Major League Baseball. Now, I had to add a different tiebreaker because, well, uh, I had a tie with a run differential per game and a win-loss record, the point uh, system had a tie there, and then they also tied with the current streak. So, I had to do a second tiebreaker, which, which I decided would be the last 10 games, the last 10 games tiebreaker. So, whatever their last 10, the record is for the last 10 games. And so, starting us off, for another week in a row, the Baltimore or Orioles. They are 30th in run differential at negative 1.908. It's better. It's not negative 2 something anymore. It's only negative 1. But it's pretty close to negative 2. It's better. But you know what? It's still pretty bad. The Orioles are still kind of doing bad. Uh, they're not 30th. They're technically not 30th when it comes to the record, though, even though they're tight for last but it's technically 29th, but you know what? Just because uh, they're tied for the worst record. So they have 59 points, marking up at 30, uh, and they're on a currently on a one-game losing streak, which could be worse, and somehow they beat the Astros. They played the Astros, took it to overtime, and then they beat the Astros in another game, and that's just mm, how, I don't know, piss me off, whatever. Okay. The next team, ranked 29th, is the Toronto Blue Jays. They moved down. All right, so they moved around. They moved down. The Toronto Blue Jays, uh, they're now the second worst team, and it's a Canadian team playing American baseball, an American sport. So I don't feel bad here at all. <laughs> Whatever. And so it's the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, they are 27th in run differential at negative 1.262. And they are 28th in the record at 354. Now, they tie at 55 points with the team in front of them. The reason why they lost the tiebreaker is because they have the worst losing streak uh, between them. They're currently on a four-game losing streak. While the Detroit Tigers are only on a one-game losing streak. There's a lot of ties here. There's, there were a lot of ties in this one. But they were all two-way ties. There, there were no three-way ties. Now, the Detroit Tigers, they moved up from 29th to 28th because uh, they won the tiebreaker, basically. Now, they are 29th in the run differential at negative 1.790, second to last, and 26th in the record at 387. Now, they are tied with the 55 points, like I said, and the reason why they won is because, yes, they're on a losing streak, but it's not as bad. So Detroit Tigers, y'all did move up in the power rankings thanks to the tiebreaker. Okay, right. and now we have 27th, and this team moved down the Kansas City Royals. The Royals! Now, they have, uh, they moved down to 27th. They have a run difference on a negative 1.108, making them 25th. And then they are the other team. They are tied with the Baltimore Orioles, for the worst record in the MLB right now. So they have a record of 308. The reason why they're higher than the Baltimore Orioles and the reason why they're much higher higher than they're higher than the 28th, 29th and yeah, the 28th and 29th team is because of well, their run differential. It's only 25th worse. Uh now they have 54 points. So yeah, it's like they barely got there. Uh Another tie, apparently. I don't remember this one, but they got a two-game losing streak. Maybe, yeah. That's not supposed to be a tiebreaker. Okay. Um, this one I don't think is supposed to be a tiebreaker either. Maybe. It may not be. The San Francisco Giants. Now, they are ranked 26. They move even further down. This is not surprising. They are a shell of their former selves. Um, it was kind of... 
Well, I'm sure a lot of people kind of really expected it. Like some people probably saw this coming. It's still a shocker, especially the, uh, for the uh, some fans because they were a dynasty, and it's always like you're in shock when your dynasty ends. But I'm sure even last year people realized it because last year it was supposed to be the year they go deep in the playoffs. So it was supposed to go, they do good one year, then they lose the next. They do good one year, then they lose the next, and blah, blah, blah. So last year it didn't work out. So this year it's got to be, yeah, they're, they're – People are probably should be starting to come to terms now. San Francisco Giants, but they're they're supposed to do bad this year, anyways. San Francisco Giants negative one. They're twenty eighth in run differential, negative one point three four four. Uh, they're tied for twenty fourth in the record for at four hundred six, making them fifty two points, and they're currently on a two game losing streak. And we'll see. Yeah, knew that was not supposed to be tight. Whatever. Now. The Miami Marlins, they moved all the way up to 25th place. Can you believe it? They were the worst team for the longest time, and now they're only the fifth worst. Holy cow. Owner still crap, though. Uh, I wonder how many fans he's going to suit before he goes away. Now they are 24th in the league when it comes to run differential at negative 1.032, and they are 27th in the league when it comes to their record at 365. That gives them 51 points, and they're also currently on a four-game losing streak. And if this losing streak continues, they're probably going to fall back down the list. Now, this team hasn't moved at all. They're the Seattle Mariners. Uh, they have a run difference of negative 0 0.957, making them 23rd. And they have a record. What the? Okay, they have a record at 406, making them 20, tied for 24th. That gives them 47 points and a one game. They aren't currently on a one game winning streak. The next team that hasn't moved, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, and I don't know if this, I uh, see people shocked about this. I'm not. Pittsburgh Pirates, they are 26 in the run differential, which is negative 1.219, and they're 21st in the record at 469. So they're 23. With their 46 points in their three-game losing streak, they are 23rd in my power rankings. So, you know, this isn't surprising me at all. I've been saying this from the beginning. They're going to be falling down because they're a pretty bad team. And a team that has moved down, the Chicago White Sox. Y'all can just keep sucking, okay? Now, they're 22nd in their run differential at negative 0.719. And they're 19th in the record at 484. Chicago White Sox, yeah, they beat the Astros 2005, blah, blah, you get the, you get the deal. It's 41 points, so you have the first tiebreaker. But this is where it is. This is where the tiebreaker, second tiebreaker had to come in. Because the first tiebreaker, they tied with the point. They tied with the first tiebreaker, so I had to throw in a second tiebreaker, which is the 10 game, last 10 games. They lost that. They have won six and lost four of their last 10. While the Nationals, they got 41 points, got the two-game winning streak. They won seven and lost three, so they get one game better, so they won the second tiebreaker. And the Washington Nationals are 19th in the run differential at negative 0.154 and 22nd in the record at 462, making them to being able to move up to 21st. I think the Nationals and the White Sox just switch places. Now we got 20th. This team has moved down into power rankings. You, uh, the Los Angeles Angels. Uh, they are 7th. They moved down to 20th. They're 17th in a run differential at negative 0.076. They almost got an even out uh, run differential. Almost got into positive. Uh, they have a losing record at 470, which is 20th. So they got 37 points and marks a tiebreaker, which they lost because of their one game losing streak. And yeah, it's the New York Mets. They wanted, uh, they got 37 points, but they want a tiebreaker because they got a two-game winning streak. Now the New York Mets moved up to 19th. I believe the Mets and the Angels may switch places too. They got uh, negative 0 0.2 uh, run differential, making it 20th. Now again, if you're on trying to figure out why the run differentials aren't whole numbers. It's because it's per game. It's not like overall. It's per game. Now, when it comes to the record, obviously that should 
make sense to anyone who knows anything about sports. 492. That's tied for 17th. 37 points, obviously, and they won a tiebreaker with the two-game winning streak. And the San Diego Padres have also moved up. Uh, they're not a, the crappiest team, but they're not the good team. Uh, they're 21st. They moved up to 18th, so, but they're 21st in a run differential at negative 0.470. They are tied for 15th for the record, and the record is exactly 500. It's not a winning record. It's not a losing record. It's an even record. They got an even record. Hmm. It's almost like that just mm, forgettable team that I keep calling them. That gives them 36 points, and they lost the tiebreaker uh, with the two-game losing streak. Or wait, was there even a tiebreaker? I don't think there was. Man, I got tiebreakers. I need to take away some of these tiebreaker words. The St. Louis Cardinals also moved up. They moved up to 17th place. Now, the St. Louis Cardinals are 16th with the run differential at point one 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 and they're set tied for 17th at the record at 492. That gives them 33 points, and if it's a tie, they lost the tiebreaker for their game losing streak. I'm not sure if it's a tie, though. We will see. No, it wasn't a tie. Whatever. Now, the Cleveland Indians, they moved up. Uh, they moved up in the rankings. They're second in their division, but like, it's not like they have like the best record out there, though. But they are second in their division, and the division leader is like one of the best teams right now. So, I don't know. I wasn't expecting a really good team to come out of the Central this year. Now, the Cleveland Indians, they are 18th in their run differential at negative 0.092, and they are tied 14th at the record at 508. So they barely got a winning record and barely got a losing record. A running differential, a negative run differential. That's what I mean. Barely got a winning record, barely a, a negative run differential. This could go either way for the Indians. The Indians, at this point... It looks like they could swing up, they could, or they could swing down, or they could just say mediocre. Tiebreaker, one game losing streak if there's a tie. But, whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa. Do that. Screw that. You could just screw that. Uh, yeah, I think there was a tiebreaker. What did the Indians have? No, they had 32. Okay. Yeah, so the Cincinnati Reds, there was no tiebreaker. They moved up to 15th. They're smack dab in the middle of the power rankings. They are 8th in the run differential. They got a really good run differential at 0 0.516, but they got a horrible record. They're 23rd in the record at 453. Now, that gives them 31 points, and they're on a one-game winning streak. Now, in 14th, the team that hasn't moved, the Oakland Athletics. Uh, they're 12th for the run differential at 0 0.364, and they're tied for 15th at, at the record, which is just smack dab, plain old, 500. Now, they got 27 points, and they're on a one-game winning streak. Now, here we go. This one is definitely an actual tiebreaker. Okay, the Colorado Rockies. They are 15th in the run differential at 0 0.141, and they're 11th in the record at 516. That gives them 26 points, but they lost the tiebreaker due to their two-game losing streak. And then we have the Atlanta Braves. Uh, they are 13th at their run differential at 0 0.231, and they are 9th in the record at 554. That gives them 22 points, and they won the tiebreaker at Twenty-six. Never mind. There was no tiebreaker. Man, man, I'm sorry. There's tiebreakers on everything, but there really isn't. And here we go. Oh, this one I know for a fact is a tiebreaker because for the second week in the row, the Boston Red Sox were barely kept out of the top ten because of the tiebreaker. I remember this. The Boston Red Sox again barely kept out of the top ten because of the tiebreaker. Two weeks in a row. That's got to be harsh. Now, they are ninth in the run differential at 515, 
and they are tied for 12th at the record at 5 on 5. And I really like when that happens. I've said that before. I like when the run, run differential and the record are just the same. I don't care what it is. I just like that. They lost the tiebreaker with a one game winning streak. And we're into the top 10. And the team that kicked them out, the Milwaukee Brewers were the ones that kicked them out this time. They moved down to 10th place, but they kept their top 10 spot because they were on a four game winning streak instead of just a one game winning streak. Now they are 14th at the run differential, uh, with it being 182. And they are 7th at the record, with it being 576. That gives them their 21 points, and yeah, they're currently on the four-game winning streak. The Texas Rangers, they haven't moved. They are 10th in the record at 531, and 10th in the run differential at 500. That gives them 20 points, and yeah, they're currently on a one-game losing streak, and yes... They're still in the top 10 because they're in ninth place. They haven't moved. And then you get to the Phillies. They moved down to 8th place. The Philadelphia Phillies are 11th in the run differential at 0 0.369. And they are 8th in the record at 569. That gives them 19 points. And they lost the tiebreaker due to it being a one-game losing streak. While the team that won it were on a four-game winning streak. The Arizona Diamondbacks were 7th at the run differential at 0 0.848, and they were tied for 12th at the record at 515. That gives them their 19 points for them to be able to win the 7th place spot on their 4 game winning streak. And I know, there we go. And we get to the Chicago Cubs, sitting at 6th place still. Uh, they are 6th in the run differential at 1.031, and they're 6th in the record at 578. That gives them 12 points, and they are currently on a three-game winning streak. And now, we get to our top five. What are our top five teams? What are the super awesome teams out there? Well, the first of the awesome teams, the fucking Yankees. Oh, my God. But they fell down because... Ah, oh, screw the Yankees. They're really good right now, still. Uh, they're... Not super head leading their division anymore. They're tied for first in their division. Uh, they got fifth. Uh, they're fifth in the run differential at 1.078. They're tied for fourth in the record at 625. That gives them nine points, and they are currently on a one game winning streak. And then we get the Tampa Bay Rays. They are uh, third in the run differential at 1.500. They are tied for fourth in the record. Uh, are they? I think they're the team. Yeah. Tampa Bay Rays are tied with the Yankees. Uh, they have seven points and are on a one-game winning streak. The reason why they are over the Yankees is because they got a better run differential. Now we get to our top three. The three super powerhouses. Probably the favorites to win the World Series whenever we get into the playoffs. Um, and to start it off, it's the Astros. Once again, starting off the top three, they got another bronze. We got, like, I don't know how many bronze medals, but we got a lot now. Uh, they got they are fourth in the run differential at 1.448, and they are tied for second in their record at 672. They almost got the best record. Uh, that gives them six points with a one-game winning streak. Uh, who got the silver? Is it the Dodgers again? Nope, this time it's the Twins. The Minnesota Twins got second. What? Yeah. Well, the Minnesota Twins are first when it comes to the run differential at 1.650, and are tied with the Astros for the uh, second place when it comes to the record at 672. That gives them three points, and they lost the tiebreaker at a one-game winning streak. So, that actually means that the Dodgers finally got the gold medal. They are first place, finally, in this power rankings. A team that I have a lot of respect for right now, the Los Angeles Dodgers. They got second in... They were in second place when it came to... The run differential at 1.652, and they were first place when it came to the record at 682. That gives them three points. 
and they won the tiebreaker. And this is the first time that I actually had a tiebreaker decide the first place person. Usually the tiebreaker is somewhere in the middle of the power ranking, so it doesn't really matter. But no, this time it was actually to decide the first place person. The Twins, and it was so close too. Twins got one game in a winning streak. That's a two-game winning streak. That was very close. But the first place, Twins don't have it. First place now belongs to the Los Angeles Dodgers. How long can they hold this spot? Let's find out.